Death Bun! Take me to your heaven! And bring me the girl, be my hero, yes, Charlotte Pirelli, Eurovision winner, Melody Festival and winner, she is back. Should we talk about her? Let's do this! Devin, I am so excited. Last year, she was supposed to serve as a host, but then there was some drama over her endorsements, and they de downgraded her to a guest artist, special performer, but she slayed the pack. And you know what? She's gonna keep slaying this year, but she's gonna do so in a new genre. She is not doing schlager, no. She is gonna sit on the stage, alone, with a guitar. The song is called Mit Live My Life. She is going to be serving something folksy and Swedish. She is singing in Swedish, not English that we're all used to. This is gonna be really exciting. Although I haven't heard it, it's going to be good because with Charlotte Pirelli, there's always a stamp of quality attached, you know, so she's gonna belt it, she's gonna sing it, and it's gonna be catchy. You know, she talks about my life, her life. Her life is amazing. I'm still rather confused why, I think it was 2012, the girl, she got booted, you know, in the semi-final. She was wearing some Louboutin spiked heels, walking up and down that runway and generally slaying, but the Swedes weren't feeling it. And she's told us in interviews she doesn't know why they weren't feeling it, but you know what, that doesn't deter her, that doesn't stop her, she is coming back. Now, Deppin, we've had a brush with her recently, haven't we? We have. We shared a taxi with Charlotte Pirelli in Stockholm. That's right, the Eurovision taxi segment. You guys saw people like Verkas or Dutschke getting in cars, you saw Mons and Petra, but there was another segment we filmed where they literally had us in the back seat and then Charlotte Pirelli got in the car. They never used this footage. Because we died, essentially. We died. We were we screaming. We died. I mean, it was unusable. It was unusable because we couldn't speak. It was like Queen of Schlager. <laughs> But she was so kind and so nice, was my takeaway from that. Like, we took selfies on the street. Oh god, and singing Hero with her in the car with oh. fake microphones and Petra made it driving yeah. as the driver. I mean, it was so a bit cool. like, pinch me, because I didn't actually experience it. You died and were taken to her heaven. Yeah, <laughs> literally. Now, I also met her on the Eurovision cruise a few years ago, and can I tell you, she played a full set, she covered Gloria Gaynor, she sang her Melfest songs, she even said on the cruise, I don't know why Sweden didn't get it, but I love this song. She loves her fans. And another example of this, Crow did. She had just given birth. Her husband's with her. Most acts would just leave the ship. I'm sitting there- One song, exit. No, that's not how she does it. I'm sitting there trying to get a selfie. She said, back up. She comes up, waits for me to you know, get my selfie, and then she moves on. That is a star. She knows how to treat her fans. She is a role model nice. We're quite fortunate, actually, because also at SVT, um, Charlotte Pirelli was there with a team of makeup artists and stylists, and she just literally just walks out to greet us, and that was so a very nice. warm welcome when we were doing Studio Eurovision. Now, Devin, she has got some stiff competition in the first semi-final in Gothenburg. We're talking Boris Renee. Put your love on me, baby! We're talking Dina Na. Yeah! We're talking Ace Wilder. <gasps> Don't worry about a thing! Yeah, but if I was Charlotte, I'd be worried, because this is some stiff competition. Now, we've already named four acts that are killer, plus they've got new talent. I mean, we've seen in the past, you know, having a big name does not guarantee anything, because Charlotte Pirelli herself was booted from the semifinal back in the day. It's gonna be interesting. This is tough. It's a tough gig. It's a really tough gig. In any case, final question, what's your favorite Charlotte Pirelli male fest entry from Take Me To Your Heaven to Hero to The Girl? I was the girl, 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 uh, girl, girl, love, and I'm ready to be found, yeah, whoa, whoa, whoa. Take Me To Your Heaven wins. Really? And actually, in that order, then Hero, then The Girl, and to be honest, I wish you'd asked me what my opinion on her coming to Melody Festival is, because I would say, Charlotte Pirelli, you know we love you. We're not going to contest that. Yeah. It's evident. Yeah. You've won Eurovision once. You've won Melody Festival and twice. Honestly, why bother? Deppin, because she wants to. She loves her fans. She loves Melody. But her she fans love her. And she they're going to love her even more. And the fact that she's here. I don't understand the stigma attached to former winners returning. They've earned the right to come back because this is their kingdom. They are the queens. Let them greet their serfs, their slaves, which is us. I'm, I'm all about it. Listen, my favorite is probably Hero. It's aged very well. It's modern schlager. Then the girl, 
Loved it. And then take me to you. Oh, take me to you. I mean, it's a fantastic, classic, which will never die. It didn't age well. I'm sorry. It didn't I think it's brilliant. Well. In any case, that's what we think. What do you think? Is Charlotte taking you to her heaven? Or is she still the girl? Is she your hero? Let us know here on Movie Vlogs. And let us know what you think in the comment section below. And while you're at it, please like and subscribe to our channel. See you later. Hey, doll, bye. <laughs> I, need to say, I need to say that, hey, doll, I keep forgetting it. <laughs>